We're talking a lot about these persistent and consistent European worries here tonight. One company, though, is seeing growth overseas. It's health products firm Henry Schein selling gear to dentists, doctors, and veterinarians. First quarter earnings were better than expected, a strong number for the company, seeing double digit sales increase at its animal health business, which is expanding in Europe despite the recession. Stanley Bergman is CEO of Henry Schein with us tonight from the NASDAQ. Congratulations on a strong quarter, but I've got to ask you, expanding in Europe? Are you trying to uh, buy when uh, prices are low in the continent? Well, I, I think uh, our goal Tom, is to continue to grow our footprint uh, globally in the office based practitioner environment. That's dentists, uh, physicians, and companion animal and agricultural veterinarians throughout the world. And there's no time like now to continue to expand in what is really a quite healthy market. Are you seeing organic growth, though, in Europe? Not just buying that growth through acquisitions, but are you seeing organic yes. growth? Our uh, organic growth for the company this uh, quarter across the, the board, the whole company, was about 6%. And we saw a very good organic growth in our dental, animal health, as well as our physician business, both here and abroad. And abroad, yeah. You, in fact, increased your 2012 earnings forecast. What gives you the confidence that the sales trends that you see now are going to continue through the rest of the year? Yeah, well, obviously, I, I, there's no assurances. I mean, uh, I, can't, I don't have a crystal ball. But <laughs> we have uh, been public for uh, over 16 years and have cons had consistent growth on the top line in terms of EPS really uh, for uh, the entire period. Um, the markets that we're in are quite healthy, driven by the baby boomers. They understand the importance of preventative care, both mm -hmm. in the dental and the animal health space. And of course, uh, the continued increase in the uh, companion animal uh, uh, ownership around the world and the desire to take care of pets. So the baby boomers are driving this and uh, they have uh, the buying power. Uh, speaking of buying power, you mentioned animal health as an area of growth. Are you looking to buy that growth in the animal health area domestically here in the U.S. as well? Well, we are already the largest provider, uh, largest distributor provider of animal health products in this country, in the United States, also in Europe and Australia and New Zealand. And our goal is to continue to have good internal growth as well as uh, supplementing that with acquisition growth, both in geographic footprint and in depth in a marketplace, plus, of course, adding new products. Are you finding valuations pretty uh, interesting at these uh, levels, given what's going on overseas? Uh, our valuations have been pretty reasonable, really, uh, for the entire period we've been public. Hmm. Uh, most of our acquisitions are uh, transactions where we've known the owners for a while. Sure. We've either competed with them, we've worked complementary with them. And, and, and so uh, the, these deals may take a time and are not as elastic to the specific uh, macroeconomic conditions at a point in time. Gotcha. Well, Stanley, we appreciate it. Congratulations on the successful quarter. We're speaking with the CEO of Henry Schein, Stanley Bergman. Thank you very much.